Hey anyway, folks, and welcome back to Horsemanship 101 again. I want to talk about one of the principles that I, I think that you should adhere to. It's really important, uh, especially if you don't get a great deal of information on a horse when you buy it. Just assume it knows nothing. Now, this particular horse, uh, as it turns out, I got some papers for, but they probably don't belong to this horse. We're fairly sure. And uh, so as a result, uh, a lot of things that uh, we were told that she's been trained for and the experiences that she had may not be accurate at all because it turns out this isn't the same horse. But that's okay because I haven't done, I'm not doing anything different uh, with the revelations that I've gotten recently as to the fact that it's not likely the horse that's on the papers because I do it the same way with every horse. I start from the beginning. I just assume the horse knows absolutely nothing at all. Now this one obviously has had some training. I don't know by who. Uh, what's actually kind of interesting is a, a young lady that was working with this horse uh, not long before I got it may have actually accomplished a whole lot more than she realizes because uh, she actually did get on her in the round pen and did a walk and trot with her. Uh, she had some issues with nervousness and such, but uh, in fact, she may have actually accomplished a lot more than she realized because uh, she was working on the premise that this horse had been ridden previously, and we don't know for fact that it's ever been ridden prior to that experience. So uh, she may have actually put the first ride on this horse. We don't know. And as far as her, her behavior as to, you know, acting as if she's had some training, maybe it was, you know, what the young lady did with her, because apparently she did a fair bit of groundwork with her. So uh, we don't know anything for sure about this horse. So we're just going to stick with, assume it knows nothing, start from the beginning, and that way if we, you know, we can find uh, little issues it has, that things that aren't particularly good with, or things that may have been missed or whatever. And... Uh, on that note, if you're buying a horse, uh, assume it knows nothing. Unless somebody actually demos it and shows you. If it says it can do this, this, and this, you know, 20 different things, well, then they better show you, get on that horse and show you 20 different things. If they say it's safe for an eight-year-old to ride, they better put an eight-year-old on it. Otherwise, don't believe anything you hear. Assume it knows nothing. Uh, don't believe what you're told. Uh, people can occasionally be mistaken. You know, sometimes they're selling a horse for, you know, a kid that's gone to school or something, and they really don't know that much about the horse. Uh, sometimes they're just, well, unfortunately, I, and, you know, some people, the world's got a lot of people that just aren't all that honest. You know, they're more interested in making a buck than telling you the truth. So that will occasionally happen, too. And unless you see the horse actually demoed extensively so that you can, you know, get a good idea of its temperament and everything else, don't believe anything you're told. Just assume it knows nothing. Start from the beginning. And if the horse actually has been reasonably well trained, all that stuff's going to be going pretty quick. And uh, you could still probably be riding the horse within a week anyhow. Uh, if it doesn't go quick, well, chances are it's best you didn't get on that horse in the first place. So assume it knows nothing. Start from the beginning and you'll never go wrong that way. Okay? Because you can't believe what you've been told. Have a good day.